Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to OYE. And we're moving now into our first segment. In our first segment, of course. Of course. Wellness Week uh, is this entire week. Yeah. And uh, while this week is actually this entire week, you want me to go what I'm saying and he can't admit it? That's it? We just steal third base now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But Wellness Week is actually the entire the entire week. And yep. uh, we did a lot of conversation. We had a lot of conversation. We cooked this uh, we week. We cooked this week. We had about water trip. this mm -hmm. week. And now we're ending things off with, with some workout. Fitness. With Kiwan is actually in with us this morning. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's always nice to have you in, sir. Kiwan. Oh, happy to be yeah. here. Yeah, Kiwan, look, I tell you what, just don't go hard on us today, man, please. Well, yeah, behind the cameras, April actually begged me to go easy on them today. Uh, so. I did. Yeah, I, I did. You, you can say that out loud to everybody. <laughs> so let, no let's talk about the importance of fitness. Right. Well, I think everybody understands that yeah. it's absolutely imperative that they do something throughout their day that mm -hmm. requires them to be active. Mm -hmm. Um, especially if you live a more sedentary lifestyle, you, you're, you work an office job or you sit down a lot or any job that requires you to sit down a lot, a, a truck driver even, mm -hmm. it's, it's mandatory that you uh, take a couple minutes out of your day. Yeah. Or, and I say minutes because you know, people like to think that when you're talking about a full hardcore exercise, it has to be yeah. an hour, yeah. hour, 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 hour and a half. Like yeah. I'm going to the gym for three hours plus and yeah. Yeah. they feel like that's the you know, root of like They're actually doing great by going to the gym for two to three hours. And don't get me wrong, that's good. Mm -hmm. But you can do less and that will be your definition of more. So that would be uh, something that uh, compensates for an active lifestyle. What is an active lifestyle? What yeah. does that mean? I think an active lifestyle is anything outside of what the norm or, or what your range of comfort is. Mm -hmm. Like if you're already used to, um, say, getting up every day, mm -hmm. you get ready for work, you go to work, you come home, you get dinner ready, and then you sit down or lay down. Yeah, routine. That is your routine. Yeah. Not that much activity. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to live a more active lifestyle for your, because it's all subjective, really. Mm -hmm. um, I might find that going on the treadmill and running for an hour every day is my version of an, a more active lifestyle but uh, for somebody else it might be something else as well yeah maybe your um, abilities don't allow you to do something like that mm -hmm. uh, on a consistent basis so y you have to really look at it in your own personal context and then if i walk to work mm -hmm. right. to and from every day is that active is that enough yes yes a, a couple minutes of of getting your heart racing <laughs> above 120 is good mm -hmm. enough but why we say that uh if i do that same walk every day same pace same pace right. uh is there any such thing as stagnation by the body oh for sure mm -hmm. your body gets used to things pretty fast it yes. adapts pretty quickly so it's important as well for you to try to increase the amount of resistance that you're applying to your body so if you're going on that walk every day going at the same pace then you might start to notice that you're not seeing the type of results that you saw maybe in the beginning when you started doing that walk. Mm -hmm. So you might want to either walk a little bit more briskly, mm -hmm. uh, include a couple jogs here and there mm -hmm. slowly, mm -hmm. try to increase the intensity of that walk and make it more effective for your, your body. Can I, can I uh, uh, do slightly less if I feel that, you know what, I might be doing two more? Is that a good thing? If I'm walking on that speed every day mm -hmm. and then sometimes I'll pick it up, would they it would it be feasible or would it be a good thing if i decide today i'm going to just troll mm -hmm. is that a good thing i think i think uh in fitness a lot of the answers to most questions is it depends mm -hmm. <laughs> it depends because every person is different so if you were to do that uh, uh then yes it would be good it's good that's the thing it's good it's great uh for you particularly but um yeah I, well, I know. I, 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 I mean, I was looking at some of your pictures, and I'm seeing that it's it's, it's a nice layout um, that you have there. But Thank you. for some for some people that would think, okay, I can't afford to go to the gym. I can't afford right. a trainer and so forth. Right. How can I be active at this? This is most people, by the way. Yeah. And um, <laughs> um, what I actually, I've, I've been on the show a couple times. I've yeah. been on other shows, and I've done workouts, and I've noticed that for most of them, I I use that timer on a phone to show that you only need a certain amount of time in order to get a very effective workout. So today, I'm actually not going to use a timer. We're going to count the reps that we're doing mm -hmm. and that's still going to give us just a couple minutes of workout that'll still be effective enough, enough for us to do using absolutely no equipment mm -hmm. at all. So Best when in the office. Even uh, in the office. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Best when in the office, after lunch, big plate of rice and beans, mm -hmm. sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are some of the things that people could actually do? Sit up, push up, 
what are some of the things people can actually do to try and get them, you know, energized to five o'clock? Right. Uh, okay, so before. first things first, if your lunch is the rice of beans, is the rice of beans, something big like that with a high glycemic load, and you're starting to feel tired afterwards, and maybe the amount of rice and beans is too much, mm -hmm. and you need to reduce the size, and also uh, keeping active throughout the day, even if you work an office job, mm -hmm. is actually not as hard as you think. You can maybe stand up instead of sitting down on your um, chair at the desk. Mm -hmm. You can maybe take a walk on the stairs instead of taking the elevator. Uh, take a stroll around the office every now and again mm -hmm. just to keep your legs, you know, in gear and simple stuff like that counts. So then true or false because these are the things that, <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I have, when it comes to, to the Belizean culture, we do like mm -hmm. three big meals a day because mm -hmm. that's a whole year over. Oh, yes. So the reason why I didn't have a big rice and beans is that because I need that to hold me right, over till right. five o'clock. That is a misconception that you Theory. need to be full enough to last you until the next meal. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. that, and that's culture for real. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I, I have been guilty of it a couple times for sure. But uh, if you're eating to get full, you're eating wrong. You're not supposed to be full at the end of a meal. You're supposed to be eating enough to uh, last you until the next time that you're supposed to eat. But mm -hmm. the problem is that we think that the next time that we're supposed to eat is halfway throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So you eat at breakfast and you're like, okay, this breakfast needs to be big enough to last me until lunch. Yes. And this lunch needs to be big enough to last I me until dinner. dinner. But that's not how it works. Yeah. You need to be eating a small portion. or a decent size, yeah. right, por right portion breakfast. Have a snack about halfway between breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. And then have lunch, which will also be small and not big enough to have you feeling tired and so have niggeritis at <laughs> 2 o'clock. So... <laughs> If that's a decent size as well, then you can afford to have another snack at three o'clock because you'll be like, mm, I can't afford. I have a little space. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. feel like you're hey, I can't move. So you can have a little snack at three. You can have an early dinner because you've had that small, uh, those small portions Portion. throughout the day, and that's how you eat. All right. All right. Well, let's well, get yeah, I was gonna say time to go, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try. Hope that time finish, but we have to do the workout. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a great way to start. What 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 would be some of those starting out workouts? for people who would like to get things started. And I think that's exactly where we're going. Help with open wearing this morning. <laughs> that is good, I like that. <laughs> that is exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to start off with some body weight moves. And uh, these moves are actually, for people who are more advanced, this will count as a warm up. But for people who don't have equipment, don't have access to a gym, um, just starting out, then this is for you. All right, yeah. so let's do it. Tell us. All right, so first things first, we're only going to do four moves because less is more. We're gonna do jumping jacks, which is a more cardio-based exercise, mm -hmm. works the entire body. We're going to do some plank taps. <laughs> I like the addition of the music. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do some plank taps on the floor. Sorry. Is it plank? Yes, plank taps on the floor. I'm just making sure that I'm remembering the order correctly. Then we're going to do some squats, body weight squats, uh, followed by some eccentric leg raises, and I'll explain why eccentric. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, that's it, that's it, that's four. So that's four. All right. we're going to, I'm going to show you how important it is to use a format if you don't have a timer at your disposal. Mm. And how easy just switching up the format can have you feeling like you're doing a completely different workout every single time using those exact four moves. All right, All right. let's do it. So the first thing Starting is first. jumping jacks. All I right, need, so let's, I guess, yeah, somebody go up front here and then somebody come oh, up All right, right. So let's do it here. So here's the format because we need to last a little bit of time you know, mm -hmm. sorry, April, but 10 reps okay. of those four moves is what we're starting what with. What is a rep? A rep a is rep one, is one yeah. rep is short for repetition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> one, oh. one count one of count. that specific okay. move, okay? Is there no, 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 good question, good question. Yeah, People yeah, don't know. Yeah. People remember, know. this is actually for the start out. People need to know right. exactly what that is. Some people have no All idea right. what a rep set. Anything of that. Any so so that give, us, uh, give us your move and then from there we follow along. Right. So two variations because maybe some people can't afford to jump because mm -hmm. of knees, knees or hip yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. That's fine. This is the normal version of the, your, your standard version of the jumping jack. Mm -hmm. Legs fling out to the side while mm -hmm. the hands reach at the top. Can make contact. If you can't reach that far, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then the less advanced version or low impact version on the joints is stepping out one leg to the side while the hands reach at the top, mm -hmm. coming back in the middle, and then doing the opposite the side. side. Mm -hmm. All right? Sounds okay. good. Ready? But I expect the standard version from you guys. I need 10. In three, two, ten. All right. One. Two. Start over for me. Three. Feet two, together, hands together. Five. All right. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And that's that. So if you're following along, mm -hmm. you've completed the first move for the first set of 10. Now we're going to go on the ground and we're going to stack up the arms 
wrists on the elbow on the shoulder mm -hmm. all right so try not to be out like this okay everything will be in one straight line you're going to space the legs to stop you from rocking from side to side okay and reach for the sh opposite shoulder with one hand and plank so tap. so okay. yes plank tap so touching both shoulders one. is one rep perfect if you can't hold yourself up in that position you can always come down on your knees like so and do the same move so two taps one rep that's yeah. right left right one one left, i'll do right, the long two. two okay ready here we go ten All again right. ready three two space the legs april begin that's one that's two that's three four five six seven eight nine and ten well done all right, so All right. do you know how to squat? Do you guys know how to squat? No, you should no. be. All right, fine. We're beginners. I forgot. All right, so we're going to space the legs, maybe about shoulder width or just outside shoulder width. Okay. Um, first off, no two, people, no two people that is squat the same. Okay. But there is a range that's normally comfortable for most people, all right? So just outside shoulder width. We're going to turn the toes open at about a 12, 10 More to 12 okay, degree yeah, angle, yeah? Yeah. And then we're going to try to keep the chest erect and also start off by hinging at the hip so a little bend forward right slight bend of the knees now once we have this position in place mm -hmm. we're going to try to drive the knees out in the direction that the toes are pointing okay while we're maintaining this hinge position all right going straight down while driving out the hips driving out the knees that is all right right so this will engage the lateral hip mm -hmm. my mic fell i'm gonna <laughs> put it in right. my pocket Happens. <laughs> okay right I'm going to try to do 10 reps of this squat, all right? All right. So drive the knees out in the direction that the toes are pointing, which we established before. Mm -hmm. Hold this hinge position. The chest stays up in the same angle okay. as you drive the knees forward and go straight down. All right. All right. Ready? Three. How low do I have to go? You can go as low as your hip allow you to go. Okay. All right. Okay. Begin. One. Because like I said, no two, two people squat the same, right? Three. So while some people have... Four. That ability, some might find Five. it le less comfortable. Six. To go as low as maybe their friend. Seven. Eight. Nine. In some instances, ten. Just spacing the feet a little bit more can help you to go a little bit lower. You gotta feel it out. All right. I have a problem where I can't do this for too long. I go like that. Mm -hmm. That's fine too. Okay. You got this here pretty much. I just. Did. That's I a long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's for right. another um. Another show. Know, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of explaining as to why exactly that is. All right. So we're going to do. We're going to go on our backs. Okay. Our and this back. is the last. Yeah. The fourth move. The eccentric leg raise. <gasps> no. I said eccentric. <laughs> 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 so I think I want to go. We also this. need the demonstration. Let's go to the demonstration. All right. I'm not. I'm not, I'm a really good explainer. So it's a good thing you're on the floor. Oh my god. All right. Go ahead. Okay. You can um, lie down right next to him. Yeah, right. man. Yeah, I think I want to go this way so that the camera can get how our legs are being raised. Alright, okay, no worries. Yeah. This works? Belize? Okay. <laughs> Alright, great. So, let's start hand placement first. Now, if you're the type of person who feels discomfort in their lower back when you're doing any type of floor exercises like this one, then you can go ahead and put your hands right behind the tailbone. Yeah. Like right where my mic there. And that's if. That's if. If it's fine, then you can always put it behind the ears to increase the difficulty as well. John. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so, next. Now, the problem that most people have when they're doing standard leg raises is that the hip flexors are too weak and they can't bring their legs up off the floor together. It's okay. very hard. Sometimes the legs are heavy. Sometimes the core, your lower core, abdomen, is just doesn't have the strength to do it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to show you a variation of it that's actually, I find, even more effective than mm -hmm. the first one and it's easier to do strange right those two things don't normally go together <laughs> all right so we're going to pull the knees in to the chest simultaneously both of them mm -hmm. then you're going to point the toes up to the ceiling straight up straight up and then we're going to try to drop the legs down straight to the floor slowly as slow as possible actually a little faster than that otherwise we'll be here all day <laughs> all right <laughs> 10 reps ready all right so basically we're doing this knees we're doing in. this Toes up, toes up, drop down, down. That's two. Okay. Let's go again. In, up, down. That's three. In, up, down. That's four. And by now it should already be burning. 
down, that's five, in, up, down, that's six, in, up, down, seven, take it in, point it up, drop it down, that's eight, two more, uh-huh, last one. And that completes the first round of those same four moves. Perfect. That's it. Start back over. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, k I'm serious too. Wow. Uh, All right. So the we're first do... thing we did was after the jumping jacks. So we're going to do nine reps this time. All right. Ready? So here we go. Three, Three, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once she has a weight, nine, <laughs> ten. All right. Plank taps, number two. All right, so here we go. Ready, sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get my sister. All right, there we go. My <laughs> sister is ready. Sit. Keep thinking. Here we go. Ready? Nine reps. Nine. Ready? Three, two, one. And two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. Right. Nine. Last one. Ten. Let's stand up for those squats. All right, ready? It was nine, but I'll take the ten. All right, <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. One squat, two, two squats. Three. three. I like it, looking good. You don't have to push forward at four. the top, just stand up straight, okay? Five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. two more. Nine, and ten. Back All on right. the ground for the leg raise. Let's go. <laughs> leg raise. I like the pace. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. I feel like I'm in a competition. No one, no one. All right, it's fine. Behind like your head. Or behind the back. Or behind the back. Ready? Repeat it. Ready? Nine reps, not ten, John. Let's All begin. Right. In, up, up, drop down slow. Take it in. In. Point it up. Up. Drop it down slow. All right, so in this particular up. move, is focusing on the lower abdomen, which is, I think, in most of up. our trouble areas. All right. In. It's up. a nice, easy, weightless way to target that area in. specifically. Up. In. The last one. Up. <laughs> Two more. In. Up. Last one. Last one. In. Up. And so ends it. Great, and just like that, we're down to eight. <laughs> so you go up mm -hmm. and do it again. <laughs> ah! That was great. That's a great start to the morning. Mm -hmm. This is actually open in yeah. your eyes. Work out. I love it. <laughs> I Ready? love it. I love it. Over well, the interest of time, we have some more. Let's do Let's, one more. We're going to do one, one, more, one more rep. All right, cool. So here we go. Giant in set. his element. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what? Eight, Jump. eight mm -hmm. jumping jacks. That's right. Ready? Alright, you ready? Three, two, hit me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. You did that. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to do the uh, extra. Anyways. <laughs> Let's go down. Down to the plank tab. You just make sure you do the right number, you feel. Yeah, because I can't have... listen to John number. No yeah, we're tired right, ready? Yeah. Sit. Let's oh, go. Just eight one. taps per side. Two. Right, so now this move is also, uh, it's actually a compound move. Four. It targets both the Five. abdomen and the shoulders, Six. the arm muscles. Seven. All at once. Eight. Now, doing compound moves, I should mention, actually helps you to burn more calories while you're doing them. So more muscles are being worked. Any move, do you tuck in your abs? You should always engage your core in every single move. There because it's your core. So, all right, you ready? Eight, Three, John. Two. <laughs> One. What? Two, especially for squats, actually. Three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight. And that's that. Last one on the Last down. one. All right. Oh, this is the one I don't like. <laughs> is that the nice one? Is that the one I don't like? The ones you don't like no, are normally the ones that you practice more. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Three, two, Eight in. eccentric leg raises. Eccentric because we're focusing on the, the release of tension. Four. 
four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five. Bring it down slow. This is, since this is the last one, you can take your time, right? Mm -mm. Yes. Really slow. Six. She disagrees this time. But she, <laughs> but she was the one moving extremely slow in the Seven. beginning. And here we go. John. So ends it. <laughs> four moves in a simple descending ladder format to give you a full workout in a small amount of time that you need absolutely no equipment for, no gym membership for, just a <laughs> bit of time that you're probably wasting on your phone, okay? And this Hello. took like 15 minutes, not even 15 Not minutes. even 15 minutes, yeah. and of course, yeah. it gives us, uh, it raises a heart rate, mm -hmm. that go feel. You're probably the shine. Well, that's fine, man. <laughs> But what it does for me, raise your heart rate, like we mentioned, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're sweating. Mm -hmm. You're actually uh, taking in some deep breaths, so you're actually breathing, which is another very important part in working out. How important mm -hmm. is breathing when you're doing your thing? Extremely important if you're trying to, to last for an extended period of time doing any particular move and you want to get the most results out of your workout, you have to make sure that your breathing is in accordance with the move that you're doing because it does differ move by move. So then how do you tuck in your core and breathe at the same time? It's very simple. And very, like, I, yeah, okay, first of all, the people don't know that it's very simple. <laughs> okay, but so. sucking in your stomach and, and breathing, or sorry, sucking in your stomach and engaging your core are two different things. Right. It's literally just squeezing the abdominal muscles, not necessarily sucking it in. You're just trying to tighten, tighten. the abdominal muscles. Right. That's, That's it. You're not just, you're not just, you're you're not just shifting the breathing by <laughs> holding your breath and sucking your stomach in. You're just tightening the abdominal muscles and bracing your back, all right? Awesome. Engaging your erectors. So K1 Fitness, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at k1.bz. You can find me on YouTube, k1bz, just letters and numbers. Um, you can find me on Facebook at K1 Fitness. And on TikTok. You can also find me on TikTok, k1.bz. Yeah. You can find me at Burn Box. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on Claircoin Street right now. And my personal, well, not personal, my business number is 6741490. And I also need to thank Smart, who are having some great deals uh, at their showrooms in Orange Walk and Corozal. These are my brand uh -huh. partners. Right? Yeah, partners. Uh, course, who are actually having a great um, a few great discounts right now, so you, you should also check them out. Sleeping Giant having local discounts. Yeah, I love uh, it there, man. I love, I love it too. So local discounts at the Sleeping Giant. Yeah, woo! Percent. Go. Oh you don't gosh. have to book a room to stay at Sleeping Giant and in, uh, and, and enjoy the amenities. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they, and they have a beautiful hiking trail. Oh, I love the hiking trail. Mm -hmm. Hiking, hiking trail. And they have the best pizza. But they do. They, they <laughs> hear that from me. Uh, you don't have to say that. Shh. You hear that from me, no. <laughs> But yes, you should check them all out. Check out Smart, check out Course, check out Sleeping Giant all as soon as you can. Yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget somebody to need a new refrigerator right now. Somebody need a vacation right somebody now. Somebody need a vacation right now. <laughs> and of course, somebody needs to go to the gym and get some additional motivation That's right. right now. I really like that you are here and you were able to kind of not just train us with, but Talk to us about the healthy conditions about it. Tell us yeah. about the habits. Tell us why it's important. So, mm -hmm. kudos. Thank you. I have, thank you fight, I have one more thing to ask, which is very important. The importance of your formation when you're doing a workout. So, oh, not to get hurt. Oh, extremely important. And actually, this is this is why you need a trainer. Yeah. And this is important. This is why I have a job. <laughs> okay. You form is extremely important, and that's what trainers emphasize. Trainers are trying to save you time in the gym, save you not not time inside the gym, but maybe time inside a hospital too, because it's so easy to get injured if you're doing the wrong thing. It's so easy to waste time doing the wrong move, working the wrong muscles by doing the move incorrectly. Sometimes just a tweak of your arm has you working a completely different muscle yeah. all right so you it is important form is absolutely important you don't want to risk injury yeah. you don't want to risk your time if you if you're somebody who is if it's already hard for you to go to the gym and you're finding that you're not seeing any results within the time that you want to your form could be the answer mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kayon. Thank you, bro. Thank and you, thank you, thank you. That ends our wellness week, but you should be well and fit every day. Every day. So and you know, a wellness week is actually every day. So be well and be fit, fit every, every day. day. All, All right. right. So we're going to take the break. But when we come back, what do we have? We are going to be talking to the basketball team. Woo! So basketball championship, basketball game. So we're still in that <laughs> realm of wellness and activity and sports. So you don't want to miss that. Stick around. We'll be right back.